We've now seen how simple it is to run console, add nodes and services, and query those nodes and services. In this section, we will continue our tour by adding health checks to both nodes and services. Health checks are a critical component of service discovery that prevent using services that are unhealthy. The step builds upon the console cluster created previously with Vagrant. At this point, you should have a two-node cluster running. Similar to a service, a check can be registered either by providing a check definition or by making the appropriate calls to the HTTP API. We will use the check definition approach because, just like with services, definitions are the most common way to set up checks. In console 0.9 and later, the agent must be configured with the enable script checks option set to true in order to enable script checks. Create two definition files in the console configuration directory of the second node. The first definition adds a host level check named ping. This check runs on a 30 second interval invoking pinggoogle.com. On a script based health check, the check runs as the same user that started the console process. If the command exits with an exit code greater than two, then the check will be flagged as failing and the service will be considered unhealthy. An exit code of one will be considered as a warning state. This is the contract for any script-based health check. For security, you should never install a health check that points at a service you do not control. We are using it here in development mode only. The second command modifies the service named web, adding a check that sends a request every 10 seconds via curl to verify that the web server is accessible. As with the host level health check, if the script exits with an exit code greater than or equal to two, the check will be flagged as failing and the service will be considered unhealthy. Now restart the second agent, reload it with console reload, or send it a SIGHUB signal. Now that we've added some simple checks, we can use the HTTP API to inspect them. First, we can look for any failing checks using this command. And note that this can be run on either node. By looking at the health state critical path, we can see a list of services that are in the critical state. Additionally, we can attempt to query the web service using DNS. Console will not return any results since the service is unhealthy. In this section, you learned how easy it is to add health checks. Check definitions can be updated by changing configuration files and sending a SIGHUP to the agent. Alternately, the HTTP API can be used to add, remove, and modify checks dynamically. The API also allows for a dead man switch, a TTL-based check. TTL checks can be used to integrate an application more tightly with console, enabling business logic to be evaluated as part of assessing the state of the check.